Our top story, not many expect real public service from their ministers, but rarely do we see such a bare instance of their apathy. The pictures in our story are shot by an amateur camera person showing an injured policeman lying by the side of a road begging for help. A government convoy with two Tamil Nadu ministers in it stops but doesn't provide any real assistance until it's just too late. Sub-Inspector R. Vetrivel lay bleeding profusely, begging again and again, asking to be saved. But these ministers refused to even step out of their cars. Yesterday afternoon, Vetrivel was attacked by local gangsters who hurled country-made bombs and then left the 44-year-old policeman to die. Soon after, a government convoy with not one but two state ministers, Health Minister Paneer Selvam and Sports Minister P.P. P. Monidin Khan, along with Collector M. Jairaman, came by. They stopped, but no one came out to help. Finally, after dithering for several minutes, the collector came out and called for an ambulance. The ministers kept sitting in their car. Crucial minutes went by, the ambulance never came. Finally, 20 minutes later, Vetrivel was put in a car and taken to hospital. He died on the way. One of the ministers stepped out, but only after the dying man was removed from the site. The doctor said the sub-inspector had lost too much blood. The sub-inspector when approached, the health minister refused to comment. But the state health secretary who was with the government convoy says they did all they could. That naturally it will take about 30 minutes for the vehicle to come in that particular place. In the meanwhile, we arranged the body to be transported uh, uh, in another police vehicle. I think what could be done during that scene, we have done at that time. Everybody came out, came down, including the health secretary. We came out and we went to the body. And the policemen, they chased the uh, people who, uh, who were uh, carrying the bombs and all. I think police did a wonderful work and uh, whatever could be done at that particular scene, it was done. But is this really all they could do? Look at the sequence of events again. After they found the sub-inspector, it took eight minutes for the collector to come out and call for an ambulance. And then another 20 minutes went by before the sub-inspector was finally taken to hospital. Neither of the two ministers, representatives of the government, even bothered to step out. All this while, he simply lay there, with people walking by. No one tried to help him or even go near him. Sub-Inspector Vetrevel leaves a wife and two young sons behind. Well, the government often sensitizes the public of saving lives of victims in the golden hour, without waiting for legal formalities. The people who know that best... Ministers and senior bureaucrats seem to have not followed that. So the question, should these ministers be punished for their callousness? With Sam Daniel, Ankita Mukherjee for NDTV.